is up everybody? So today, we got something just a little bit different. Not exactly car related, but I think you'll enjoy it. So stick around and you'll find out what it is. So, today we are working on... Boom! Big reveal! Hey! <laughs> the four-wheeler! <laughs> Alright, Leslie, what are we doing? Alright, so... <laughs> on this, um... On this... Four wheeler right here. We gotta take the carburetor off and clean it off, give it a good shine, and shove it back in there. And it should run like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is actually gonna be hopefully pretty easy. I don't know if it's ever done this before, so this will be interesting to find out what happens. So stick around and <laughs> we'll get this thing done. Alright, so what we've done so far was let me see. You got your light, Wesley? There you go. All right, so we had a rubber uh, a hose line right here. Right there. You see that right here? So you just gotta pull that up. That's easy. Also, you gotta take the air filter off. Obviously, that's you know, pretty obvious. Um, so next, what we did was on the other side of this, we had a little hose clamp. That's clamp. right here. That's connected to the carburetor. So all you gotta do is unscrew that. Make it's sure just you a get it off. no. <laughs> it's just a normal Phillips head screw. So no big deal. After that, you just pull that sucker right off, and you're yeah, <laughs> you're good to go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we got so far. So we got it off. All you gotta do is uh, unhook a couple more uh, hoses and finally clean it, and we'll show you to put it back on. Pretty simple. <laughs> so currently we're trying to get this, uh, <laughs> I think it's a fuel line, but it's not coming off. So we are trying this. <laughs> so he's moaning right now. <laughs> All right, so we finally got this carburetor off. Look at this, it's amazing. Um, okay, so what was the problem was with this fuel line, uh, we didn't realize this, but it's just two simple bolts here. This part. Yeah, just right there. Just two bolts. Take those, oh, two screws, I meant. Take those out, and, you know, just pop right off. Uh, we're leaving this not on. You just have to unplug it. It's just a little tab, no big deal. Um, so now we're going to spray the whole outside with some brake cleaner, and then we're going to open this up and clean the inside. So we'll show you that now. It looks like a million bucks right there. <laughs> million dollar carburetor right here. Yeah. Fillers. I think I need to glue a little bit more spray right in there. Just Do a little it. dirty still in there. Get it, Wesley. But that's okay. This stuff here is a learning process. It's not like you just you know it overnight. You learn <laughs> by doing it. <laughs> is that how that works? That's how it works. Alright, come on. Tell you what, one of these days. Come on, spray me, Wesley. No, I'll, I'll kill you. I literally no, kill you. I'd kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, this cleaned up nicely. Very nicely, I'd say. So this is actually a lot simpler than we thought. A lot simpler. I mean, yeah. It's just simply just taking it off and just cleaning it. No big deal. We thought we were going to have to take the whole handlebars off and the whole plastic yeah, piece. They'll tell the, you. Yeah, they'll you tell you to do that. Put the fenders off, all the plastic in the seats. You don't need to do any of that crap. Bull crap. Yeah. You see, you get your hands dirty and take it off. That's it. Why are you stripping it? left and loosey. Yeah, I know I'm stripping it. You're stripping it. Yep. Oh my. I didn't strip it. Oh. You freaking. Bro, I freaking didn't. Give me a flat, flat hat. You won't strip it either. Okay. Get it? Are you seriously having a hard time? Here, you want to switch? Oh. 
hold the camera and you can... Yeah, I will. Do it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to Yeah, yeah. Let, me do it. let me get in there. Oh, you stupid. There we go. Did I get it? No. <laughs> um, up here, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. All that compressed air. He's skipping the rules. It's all that compressed air, bro. Pointing it. But you, I'm pointing it at the thing that actually needs to be pointed at. I don't know. This is fun. My hands are fun. Yeah. I think it's from that break. We're about to take a lasagna break. Ah, God. <laughs> the last crew? I'm starving. Yeah. We're about to go have some vegetarian lasagna. Oh, God. <laughs> Freaking disgusting, that's what it is. Okay, you don't have to. Alright, so. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, we're gonna take an axe to it. Alright, bet. A nice little crease. Oh! Hey! Hey! hey. That's a dirty little hoe right there. Ooh, we're gonna clean her. We're gonna <laughs> clean her nice and good. <laughs> Spray me, Wesley. Okay. One second, I'll take a look at this. Oh, wow, Ooh. that is nasty. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Looks yummy in there. Wait, did you just lose one of the screws? Oh, no! I mean, it, it did just get up and run away. It's, oh, there it is, there okay. it is. Where did the stuff go? What the Right clear? Okay. Now let's spray that boy or that girl. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you completely missed. Oh my God! <laughs> what the? That stupid cat. <laughs> This is turning more into a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Cat destroys garage! Ah! Look at this. Oh, you know what? I got an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Bam! Watch that, watch that. Yes, good. Yeah, good idea. Good little squeeze in there. It was a little much, but who cares? This is some PB blaster. Focus and we're good. Okay, what is up, guys? Okay, so got some food in us, got some strength back because we needed. Because Wesley actually figured out and uh, somehow he got the screw that was stuck on here. That's right there. That lets that kind of drain out. So now when we put our brake cleaner in there, the brake cleaner in there, it will. Um, uh, just drain out so it helps to get anything that's clogged in there helps to just so it just all through there So that's good. Um, we also uh, Realized that there's a little screw right inside here a little focus Right in here. Let me just do this. That's not gonna focus um, right here There we go. There's a little screw and you want to make sure that you just get that out because there's going to be a lot of gunk build up in there. And you need to get that out. And it's very, very tiny. Literally, it's, it's this big. It's just a flathead 
very really small. Get a skinny little one in there. So that's what it takes. So and then you can't see it on the camera, but it's a little hole in the bottom. So that will also help drain when you put brake cleaner in there. And don't be afraid to spray this. That'll be okay. Just spray it. Don't get it in your eyeball. Oh, that's true. Like I just Wesson. got it in my eye. And Do it not burns. get it in your eye because it burns. That will hurt you. Also, what we're going to be doing is uh, taking some compressed air and spraying it all, getting everything out of there that we can, make it absolutely clean as much as possible. So, this is what we've been working on right now. Um, Leslie, just clean and so. That's all it is. It's just very persistent cleaning. Very persistent. You want to make sure that it's absolutely clean as possible because you won't be doing this again, but for a while. Make sure that's nice. Well, let's clean. hope so, anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just uh, dropped. Skirt. Oh my god. Oh, what's my little you see this thing? Look how tiny that is. This thick screw. This, that's the one that goes. Yeah. You don't want to strip that either because that's not good. Just got to clean all that gunk out of there. Yeah. Scrape me. Yeah. All right, so also we're thinking this red and these stickers I think need to go. So, Wesley, what do you think? Black or any other colors you're thinking of? How about blue and gold victory? <laughs> no. Yeah, solid black. You think just black, no options? Do you want to give anyone options? What do you think, red? No. Hey. Leave some comments in below. What yeah. do you think we should paint that? Leave, let's leave some comments. What do you think? Should we do like a black? Um, like a matte black or beige? glossy? No, not beige. Maybe white. I know it's going to get dirty, but it's going to look cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe blue? Like a dark blue? I don't know. Not Tell us what you black. think in the comments. You know, just just drop a comment. Why not? Let's see for Mustang today. Really? I think it'd be cool to get one of those fixed emotions. Like, was, what condition was it in? I mean, it's, it's a project. Project car. Like I mean, this. Like, how bad? Well, like, rusted and everything? Not rusted, no. Not rust? I don't think I'd want a jack with rusted, because that's... That's what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, you gotta check on the bottom, because if there's rust on the bottom, that's gonna be a whole world of trouble. That'd be kind of cool. I've always wanted to do it. Like Hunters? About? Is that what it looks like? Kind of is it the 60s? I think, I think so. Looks like it. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be really cool. I've always wanted to do a project car. I'm mean, gonna have my 350. We could do it together. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm mean, gonna have my 350, which is slowly coming along. I know I haven't put any videos up about it. I mean, if you've seen my uh, changing my clutch, I will put a little tag right there. Right over here somewhere. You'll see that. But. Check that video out. Pretty good video. It's a, long, it's a while ago. I'm sorry about that. Sorry to all my 11 subscribers out there. You know who you are. <laughs> I love all of you guys. Oh man. But yeah, project car completely just from scratch. Be awesome. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hmm. Dang. Still a little green in there, but I mean, yeah. Why, boy? All right, so everything is nice and clean now. Get all that gunk out, all that nasty crap, and um, yeah, just come up together. This is a screwdriver. Oh my god, give it to me. <laughs> oh yeah, just a tight fit. 
Oh, it's so tight. See what he did there, folks? What he did. Here, let me show y'all. Get a light on the situation and he can explain it. So, basically, it's kind of hard lining up, especially with it angled like that. So, what you want to do is... <laughs> See you want to stick your screw in there and then just pop it in the hole and just screw that baby down and it'll line up nice yeah. and nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, here we go. And then you're gonna take this black Hopefully that's lined this up. Black one. That's your electrical. Go yeah. ahead and plug that in for him, Evan. Sure. Not not too tight, just just nice and snug. Go ahead and plug that electrical in there. Oh, sure. let me one plug me. Goes. Plug me. Right in the hole. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should not plug this. <laughs> oh alright, so over here. Over here. Okay, so we have a hose clamp already on there, but you have the screw with this little spacer. We got a spacer on here on the right on the screw. The big one goes on the outside. You're gonna slide it through. Hold that up again, show the. You're gonna slide it through one of the holes, and you're gonna put this small little spacer in between the two holes, and then she would have just screwed together. And it should all be good. You should be able to do that, folks. So, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna. There it is, you're there. Ah, uh, uh, twist it. Oh! <laughs> floats seem to be a little bit too much space in between where the float was sitting and where the carburetor was. Sometimes, if it's, let me get this right, if it's too low, you're not gonna get enough gas to uh, uh, the float through your carburetor. If it's too high, it's gonna flood it. So, we might have a problem of not enough, but I think the way we adjusted this a little bit didn't really change much at all, really, honestly. But um, hopefully, we'll be okay with that. We're just hoping it's because it was dirty inside. All right, so everything is back on. The carburetor, intake, everything nice and clean. I don't know if you can see that. That is absolutely perfectly clean. All right, so this probably won't start, but we're gonna try it anyways. So, give it a shot. Sounds like it wants to. The thing is empty. Uh, I think it's okay. That's okay. <gasps> Whoa! It sounds like it wants to now. That's annoying. Yeah, it's super slow on the return. Like she wants to. Alright, so uh, it's not starting. Not really sure why. Maybe it has to do with electrical. I'm not really sure. He's still trying. <laughs> I think, I don't know, Wes. I think, I don't think the. I mean, it, it was not making this. It wasn't making this noise before we cleaned it, so something's definitely changed, but it's not 100% fixed yet. Look at look at this fool. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. She's gonna have to turn it over, bro. <laughs> I hope she does. Oh, baby! Oh. I think we're gonna end it here tonight now. We go focus real quick. I think we're gonna end it here tonight. That was good. That is how you clean a carburetor. I think we're the first ones to show that. And this is, by the way, what year is this? Do you know what year? Anything about it? This is a Polaris. A Polaris Scrambler. Scrambler 90. 90, to be exact. All right, so that's it, guys. 
I think we're gonna have a video coming out soon about maybe painting it. I don't know. Hey, it's right. If you guys wanna see that, just drop a comment below. If you think there is a problem that we don't know about to make this thing hey, run, let us, let us know. Just drop a comment. Right down there, drop a comment. Let us know. And uh, so we can get the thing running. Oh, dude, she won. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on trying here, but I'm in the video now. I'll see you guys in the next one.